Hey everyone, Christine here to make a video about my doll collection. So I don't have every single doll here. I have a couple that I'm still working on. Uh, my workstation's over here, but just to give an example, uh, I'm working on a, I forgot what the name of this doll is now. It's a Miro doll Iris. So I do have some that are off camera, but I wanted to show you the ones that already have face ups. So um, I kind of put them just kind of wherever. But starting off, I have a Miro doll wind. This was actually my first doll. I started collecting in this hobby in February. That was my first order, uh, ordering from Miro doll. And they were having a sale. So I ordered a wind and, um, oh my gosh, I forgot her name, Lily, I think, which is an MSD doll, but she's not behind me right now. In fact, I'm missing my USD too, but hey, whatever. Anyway, uh, oh, yeah, so she never got tightly strung. Uh, I didn't know what I was doing at the time. And after that, I just kind of never bothered. <laughs> but this is Aya, my Miro doll wind. And she's based on me when I was in high school. Uh, I used to dye my hair red. And I kind of dressed like this. Yeah, she definitely needs to be restrung, but she's my first doll. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Now, the next doll I got after I got my wind, oddly enough, was my Feeble 65, straight from Fairyland. Um, she has her original company face up. Um, it might be hard to tell in it. I really can't see what you guys can see because I have the camera facing away from me. So hopefully you guys can see her face up. Let's see. Here we go. So this is the company face up from Fairyland, and she is a Feeble 65 Chloe. Um, I was really disappointed working with this company because she ended up coming to me uh, in not perfect state. Uh, she had such thin resin here on her knees that I can literally see through them. And I was like, why, why are there these gray marks? Um, like it looks funky. And I tried to magic eraser it off. I even asked in one of the Facebook groups why it wasn't coming off and someone was like, the resin's thin, that's probably what it is. And lo and behold, ooh, I just heard a crack. Uh, I looked inside and there was indeed uh, metal in there and I could see why I could see through it. It was very, very thin. So, yeah, I'm a little disappointed with this company. I'll probably never order from Fairyland again. I went from a company that sold dolls for a hundred bucks to this cost me over $850. And I feel like I just didn't get my money's worth. So that's her, and her name's Alana. Uh, she was based on a video game character that I've played a million years ago, but uh, I loved her. So. I always said that I'd have a daughter named Alana. <sighs> now getting her to sit is impossible, so I might just have to prop her up on this pillow. Uh, stay. Ta-da, I did it. Uh, let's see, after her, the third doll I got. Well, that are here at least. Was actually my favorite doll. Um, I bought her on Facebook. Somebody was selling her. She is a gem of doll Melantha. And I, well, from the picture, I was like, uh, just looks like a basic doll. But she was pretty cheap. And I looked at the gem of doll website. And she was like supposed to be $500 with her company face up, which is what she has. Let me see. She has a tattoo here. So yeah, she's supposed to be really expensive and I was like oh yeah I definitely want her even though she was a couple of years old and she even came with jointed hands um, the person doesn't know which jointed hands they are they said that they think that they came from eBay or something like that um, but these are actually like the best jointed hands that I've ever seen um, I have some other jointed hands and they're not that great but anyway, um, I love her. She is my favorite doll, and who would have guessed? I had no intentions of getting this doll. Uh, she was kind of unplanned, just 
saw her on Facebook and thought she was nice and I really really love her so yeah oh and her name is Amaya which is another name that I always imagined if I had a second daughter that it would be named Amaya have you noticed that all of my dolls names are a so far that doesn't change much uh, okay so after her from this stuff here I believe the resin soul was next let me see oh no wait I lie I lie I got this doll next again a Facebook purchase um, if I bought a doll on Facebook by the way I did get the COA with them so not that gem of doll is recast or anything and actually neither is this doll um, so this is a soul doll double Giselle which they no longer sell on the soul doll website they're discontinued and I got her um, what was it the middle of April or so I didn't know what I wanted to do with her but she was discontinued somebody was selling her for like I want to say $240 not I want to say I know two hundred and forty dollars and she's also uh, kind of loosely strong but I left her the way she was because for the most part I don't really take pictures of my dolls doing any posing I just kind of look at them and dress them and I just think they're beautiful but um, this is the soul doll Giselle she came with a face up I didn't like too much so I went in and fixed it a little but um, I added the darker lips the little, I don't even know what to call it, little ball here, <laughs> and the nose ring and stuff. And I added some eyelashes and purple eyeshadow because I just thought she looked cuter that way. So yeah, she was my next doll, another Facebook purchase. And I say that her and Amaya are sisters, even though they look nothing alike. So this is Amaryllis, another A name. <laughs> Now, the next doll I got after that is my Resin Soul Yoon. So, I actually really like Resin Soul. I think they're a really, really great company. And besides Gem of Doll, they're another one of the companies that I think is really nice to work with. Uh, when I ordered from Gem of Doll, which I'll talk about in a minute, but these are two Gem of Dolls, um, I just ordered through email. I did the same thing with Resin Soul, and Sun is the person who answers is very very nice so I asked for Yoon which is this head sculpt with um, ears um, I asked for her on the 60 centimeter body which is not normally the body that she comes with but um, they had absolutely no problem with that and I also asked for jointed hands which they were quick to give me but these aren't that great like they kind of sit weird and actually <laughs> So do her joints, they're strange, but it seems to be something with this body, really. Um, I don't think it has anything to do with how she was strong. But anyway, um, I added some tattoos. So there's one, and a little bit of body blushing on her. There's another tattoo on her back. This is actually a tattoo of, well, Final Fantasy XIV, if you were playing Final Fantasy XIV from the very beginning, uh, your character will have a legacy tattoo on the back, and this is what it looks like. So, since I played Final Fantasy XIV for a really long time, I went ahead and gave her that tattoo. Oh, and she has some tattoos on her legs, too. I'm seeing some little white splotches. I don't know where that came from, but I don't know. Maybe something spilled on her. <laughs> um... This wig's falling off. Oh, the problem with wigs on uh, any resin sole that has ears is that the wigs kind of like fall off and it's really frustrating um, trying to get the wig to stay in place. So, yeah. The great company, but poor execution on where these ears went. Uh, she doesn't have a name, believe it or not. You'd think it was some kind of A name, but I actually don't have a name for her yet. I'm not sure why. Some dolls, but just a name didn't come to my head, so I haven't named them yet. <sighs> oh, look, I do have one of my small dolls here. I didn't think that I brought it. I guess I just kind of threw it there. Um, I have all kinds of 
doll spots around the house and I just have to go around collecting them. My house is this big, but yeah. So I have this real hair thing, but it's kind of a mess. I think I need to like rubber band it down so it stays down. But I got this gem of doll for free. She wasn't the next doll I got, but um, I found her, so I figured I'd show you guys. I'll show her again in a minute. Okay, next dolls. So, as I mentioned, I really liked my gem of doll, Melantha, whose name is Amaya. And I liked her so much that I emailed gem of doll asking if they're going to have a sale soon. And they emailed me back the next day, because, you know, the time's different. And they were like, yeah, we'll have a sale right now. And I'm like, oh, for reals? Just for me? So they ended up having a sale right away. And I went on what is, uh, Alice's Collections. And I ordered Ares is her name. So this is a gem of doll Ares. And oh, there we go. So this is what gem of doll Ares looks like. And I didn't get her with the company face up. I actually did my own face up thinking that I could save some money, but uh, I will never compare to how awesome Gem of Doll does their face-ups. So that was my bad, next time I know better. So this is what she looks like. Hopefully it's focusing. If not, I'm really sorry, but I can add some pictures at the end. Um, she ended up coming on the new SD body. So Gem of Doll now has two female SD bodies. And this is the new body. I know it's hard to see, but um, I do have a video on the difference between the uh, Gem of Doll old body and the new body. Uh, her name is something with an A, but I forgot now. I'll get back to you. I know her name. Ugh. She's Aurelia. She has an A name too, but I can't remember what it is. I named too many A names. Um, when I ordered her, I reconsidered and thought, man, I should have got two dolls because they were having a sale where if you spend $699, you get a free doll, a free one eighth size doll, which is where this little tiny baby comes in. So I emailed Gem of Doll again, and I was like, hey, <laughs> I just ordered a doll. Not from you guys, but from Alice's Collections, and I made a mistake, I want more. They were like, yeah, no problem, free shipping, oh yeah, yeah, free healed feet, and all kinds of stuff. So I said, okay, not a problem, uh, I was going to order another one. So I ordered, Mona is this one, um, her <laughs> wig looks kind of frizzy, but I kind of wanted her to look this way, so I think I was going for like a kind of cute, nerdy look, and I think I got it. So I ordered Mona next, and I got her for free, and she has no name. Um, I wasn't really expecting a small doll, and I like big dolls, so it's kind of just their little baby. In fact, it's Amaya's baby, even though she doesn't have babies. Maybe it's her sister. I don't know. There we go. So yeah, um, this is Aurelia, and uh, I got her next. I got her like a week after I got... I wish I could remember her name, but I can't. I have too many dolls. Okay, the next doll. I got Mika next. She is a Marrow doll. I also got her off Facebook. Um, she was a little messed up. She had a lot of like scuff marks all over her. But with this handy dandy tool, I was able to buff most of them out and then use the magic, magic eraser along with this again and I got almost all of them out. So really you can't tell that there were any issues. But um, yeah, this I ended up just naming her Mika because I really liked that name. But uh, someone was getting rid of her on Facebook and I really felt like I needed another doll, so I got her, and she was pretty cheap. Um, with shipping from Australia, she was $100. So that's pretty good, because the shipping alone was probably 40 bucks. So yeah, and the seller was pretty nice, and I got to do my face-up on her, so this is not a company face-up, it's a face-up that I did. And she has on a Black Panther 
jacket, which is actually Amaya's, but I gave it to her because she had on this, like, skimpy dress, and I kind of didn't want to, you know, accidentally show anything, so, yep. Stay. No, she's falling. There we go. Hopefully, she will stay. I really don't want her to fall. Um, next doll. Uh, Mint on card was going out of business. Well, not going out of business. I mean, they just stopped selling dolls. They wanted to do something else. And they had a goodbye bag. They had 11 large and then like 20-something, no, 17, I think, uh, medium and like 20-something small. I managed to snag one of the large goodbye bags, which went sold out literally within the first minute that they did the sale. So I was camping this. Um, but I got her. She is in Imari Scraps. She didn't come with a face up. I do have a box opening video about her. And I'm actually really happy with how I ended up making her face. I like it better than the company face up, actually. So this is my scraps. I hope this is coming out right, but if not, don't worry, I got some pics. So yeah, and oh, she came with this dress. Well, I mean, not her, but you know, the box, the goodbye bag came with this dress and I kind of was like, sure, why not? Why not have a fancy doll, right? It's not really my style, but it looks like it's her style. Trying to put these back so they don't fall. There we go. Uh, did I get her or her? Okay, I got her next. So this is, well, wait, did I say her name? Where is she? So I haven't picked a name for her yet and that's my dog crying over there. I don't know why he's crying. I just took him out and he pooped. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to name her Temperance, but I haven't quite decided yet. And actually, I just got her recently, so sometimes it takes me a while to pick out a name. Now, if you are an anime lover, you might know the anime that I was trying to base this character off of. Um, there is a, an anime called Darling in the Franks, and I really love the character Zero Two. But since I don't own any anime dolls... I figured I would get this boy head sculpt. I don't know if you can see. She has um, some little horns up here. So I did her face up trying to go for looking like Zero Two, which is the character on Darling in the Franks, the girl with the red horns. And um, obviously she doesn't really look anything like her, but this is Zero Three. <laughs> That way it's kind of like a clone, but not really, because she doesn't look anything like her. Um, this wig was supposed to be pink, and it literally came in today. But it's kind of like this weird, I don't know, orangey pink. So I'm not sure if she's going to keep this. And I actually think I'm going to get her a wig without bangs, even though Zero Two has bangs. Zero Three doesn't. Or at least that's how I can best show her little tiny horns. Uh, this is a... Doll Family A Kwewe. I don't know how to pronounce it. I have a box opening video for that too. And uh, it's on a girl body and I ordered it from Alice's Collections. So, you know, you can ask them to switch bodies. And they will. Th this is my dog. He's being a pain in the butt. <sighs> is she gonna stay? Okay, and then finally, another Facebook purchase. Anytime I see really, really cheap dolls on Facebook, I feel like I have to get them because if I ever bought them not through Facebook, they would be a lot more money. Uh, so this person was selling a, what is this, April Story Lily. Uh, no face up or anything, uh, white skin, and apparently they had just bought it in July. We're in August now, so I was like, whoa, okay, and it was less than if I bought it from the company. And I was actually thinking about getting an April Story doll because I kind of want to have a bunch of different dolls so that I can see, you know, 
what companies are good, which companies are better, which companies are not worth, you know, buying again from. And, um, yeah, so I got an April story. Uh, her resin feels completely, completely, completely different from any other doll that's up here. Uh, it feels very lightweight and super, super plasticky. It's so crazy. But anyway, uh, this is an unnamed doll at the moment. I honestly don't know what I'm going to name her. But as of right now, she's just keeping the name Lily because I haven't decided. Uh, her body is very pretty. I, I can't show it on camera right now, but um, I have a box box opening video. And um, she's yeah, pretty cool. And I got to do her face up too. I like doing face ups, but if the company has like a really good face up, I usually just get the company face up. Because even though I can do face ups, it's always nice to have another artist's work. Um, this doll over here, it's probably a little off camera, has no head at the moment, which is why I'm not going to talk about it. Um, she, yeah, she is just in like a little onesie that I bought from someone off of Facebook. And I also have the iris body in a onesie, but once again, um, I haven't done anything with it, so it's just kind of sitting there. So yeah, um, I think I introduced all of my dolls. Um, I still can't remember her name. I mean, now, I, now I'm going to have to add it in the comments because I can't remember her name. It starts with an A. But yeah, so I wanted to show you guys all of my dolls because I plan to bring them around in my videos. And when I talk about my dolls, then you guys will know who I'm talking about. You know, once I figure out all of the names of my dolls. So thank you for watching my video and I hope you like my dolls. Yay! Okay, so I just finished making that other video, and as I was finishing the video, I remember the name of my doll. So I figured instead of just putting it in the comments or something, I would go ahead and let you guys know that this is Aurora. I don't know why I couldn't remember her name, considering that it's a Disney princess and all. It should be the easiest name to remember, but it seemed to have slipped my mind. So, now you have met Aurora.